Hey guys, this is Veron, speaking from the stars, and welcome back to my channel. So, happy Halloween, super late happy Halloween. Yeah, I didn't, <laughs> I wasn't ready for Halloween in the way that I had no content prepared for Halloween, except for today. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed your Halloween celebrations. If you do actively celebrate it in your country, um, especially for, in the, for you guys in the western region of the world, I know that you guys take Halloween kind of seriously. I've seen videos where people decorate their houses with like cobwebs and spiders and skeletons and like people actually dress up in costumes on the 31st or the trick-or-treaters and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I hope you enjoyed your trick-or-treating, I don't know, escapades or, or your Halloween parties. I hope it didn't get too wild. Anyway, or if it got wild, I hope, you know, things responsibly, I don't know. Because, <laughs> uh, let me explain. I'm from the Philippines, if you haven't uh, figured it out, or if you don't know from my other videos, uh, I'm from the Philippines, so Halloween is a thing, but not really over here. So, let me explain. Halloween over here is more of like a, an event that you have parties over, so... It could be a class party or a company party or your group of friends type of party, but it wasn't, it's not as ingrained or as super celebrated, I guess. So you really wouldn't see houses with cobwebs and spiders and skeletons decorated or, yeah, in general, you wouldn't see that. It's usually just a day where you come into work or school dressed up. A little spookily, maybe sometimes with some fake blood, but yeah, it's it's that kind of day. So how do you put it? Usually, it's only the malls that actually do really intense Halloween setups, and that's just because it's a mall. It has to do that for marketing, and we quickly take it down for Christmas anyway. So it's not super of a big thing. Maybe it might be in some exclusive subdivisions, but for the general populace, it's not as prepared for. That being said, we actually do have a holiday where people prepare like days and months or in advance. And that is November 1st and November 2nd. So November 1st is All Saints Day and November 2nd is All Souls Day. So All Souls Day is the more important date for the people here in the Philippines because that is the time when people would go home to their hometown or home provinces and sort of celebrate the dead or I guess remember the dead is more accurate so in general on October 31st Manila or Metro Manila the capital of the Philippines would just become super silent and empty because everyone is not here. So I guess I should say it now. If you are a Filipino viewer, hi, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy the drawing. If I say anything weird, feel free to correct me. If you have any fun, um, I don't know, patay, I mean, also the stories, feel free to comment it down below. I would like to read some, you know, fun stuff down there. If you are not from the Philippines, hello hello, let's have a little cultural exchange. So I'm not sure about other Southeast Asian or fellow Asian countries. This could just be a Philippine thing, I'm not really sure. So what happens during the 31st, which is like the eve of the entire thing, um, people would either take a vacation leave or they would go home very late into the night and travel to their home provinces to meet up with their family and they would all go to, to the cemetery and you know sit there by the grave and talk about the dead and you know have a little family reunion have some fun let the kids interact have a little bit of gossip about the family and stuff like that the thing that's kind of super interesting that I that has always bewildered me as a kid was that people 
a lot of people. I'm not just talking about a couple of pe- families doing this, but this seems to be a real thing here. Is that people would go to the cemetery and then they would spend their overnight there, sometimes even two nights. It depends on how. It depends on per family, but a lot of people would spend overnight there and just talk by the candlelight and the dead. <laughs> and that's always something that's been. Like, I understand why they're doing it because they want to spend time with a person or the people who have passed. But <laughs> it's kind of funny because, especially in the provinces, um, like with the really, really deep provinces, the a usual scare tactic for kids is that, oh, you might get ab- abducted by a ghost. And then there you go, going to a cemetery on November 1 or 31 or 2 and spend the night there. But either way, the sentiment is that you are spending time with someone who has passed. You might be catching them up on what's been happening in the family, or maybe you're letting the younger generations know who this person was, or who they are to them. Like, uh, are they some important great grandma, or what was some notable stories of them, or something like that. So that's the essence of All Souls Day. You just remember them and, you know, just let them know that somewhere, wherever they are, if there is an afterlife type of thing, that they are remembered and they are not forgotten. And if you watch the movie Coco, like Disney Coco, it does sound super similar to Dia de los Muertos. And Dia de los Muertos is a Mexican tradition of on November 1 where they also go to the cemetery and have this really celebratory festive um, event, I guess, of remembering the dead. And basically, you also talk about them, you remember that they lived and stuff like that. So I guess it somewhat comes from the Spanish influence. So the Philippines was colonized by, by Spain for 300 plus years. Um, I guess it does come a little bit from them. I'm not sure what Spain does for November 31st, to be honest. I don't know what that, what that country does. But it it has similar themes and it has similar um, thoughts to it. And if I'm not mistaken, All Souls Day and All Saints Day are Catholic um, celebrations. I'm not sure for the Mexican one, but... Over here in the Philippines, it's a very Catholic Christian holiday. But either way, whether it's Catholic or not, because the country is majority Catholic, I just assume it is. <laughs> but yeah, that's a thing. And I guess what's funny is that if you live in Metro Manila like I do, I live in Quezon City, um, which is pretty big, but when... When you go, even just here in the in the subdivision that I live in, it's so quiet. Like you wouldn't hear any dogs, you wouldn't hear any kids, you wouldn't hear your neighbors. Nothing. It goes completely silent, and that's because most of the people are in the cemetery. So it's kind of funny, especially for me. I live near a cemetery. You can see it's around ten minutes away, and it's a cemetery park. So there's Spalding grass, there's trees, there's mausoleums where some people built for their dead. But it's still a bit of a tradition here that they would go to the cemetery that's 10 minutes away and camp out overnight. Even though their house is literally 10 minutes away. <laughs> so if you go around the nice subdivision during 31st or 1st or 2nd, it's so quiet. There's no one there. All of the lights and the houses are turned off, or they're turned on just to like deter any burglars. Cause that's one, like All Souls Day, All Saints Day. Those are one of the days where a lot of burglars strike because they know that no one's home. But <laughs> one technique that people adapted was to keep their lights on or keep a light on to pretend that there's someone home at night. But it doesn't always work. I mean, if if the burglars were smart and he did some scouting they kind of know when the light should be and shouldn't be on but either way um, like 
on the first or the second, like I just kind of peeked out a little bit as doing the laundry actually. And there was no one there, not even the stray dogs that roamed the streets. And they're not really stray, like people own them, but even the dogs that usually roam the streets aren't there. The teenagers that vape like two houses away aren't there. Everything's closed. It's it's almost creepy, but it's almost serene as well that there's utter silence in a city like this that usually has a little bit of noise. And then you would see like videos and photos of like the main roads being super empty and super clean because everyone's not in Manila. And it's just funny and a bit eerie to see. So yeah, that's that's All Souls Day. So if you're not from the Philippines, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of cultural exchange of sorts. It's just interesting. It's an interesting thing. So let's talk about the piece. I have approximately four minutes left. Okay, that's enough time. So I didn't really have anything planned for a Halloween piece because I did sneak peek a different drawing on Instagram and that was what I was supposed to release first and then I realized Halloween was a thing. <laughs> so here I went and I did a quick, easy, um, relaxing type of Halloween piece. I just wanted to draw a witch. So originally my concept was very horror and gruesome but then I realized it's no longer 31st so it might not be as applicable so I went with something you know more fun instead which is a witch and I just wanted her to be relaxing in bed and yeah I actually do like how this turned out like the colors turned out all right I need to talk about the paper so the paper is the Fabriano Artistico uh, 300 GSM cold pressed white paper it came from those Fabriano sample packs that we sell so in those sample packs they include different not sizes different um, types of paper so they would include like a 300 GSM I think they also included like a 650 GSM paper they include a variety of stuffs so that you can kind of find out what kind of paper you like the thing is I already do own Fabriano stuff I have like I have a, a white artistico hot pressed paper so I already do know how the Fabrianos would act more or less but one thing I was worried about was the texture so the hot press is a little bit rough for 300 GSM and I was expecting it to be a bit hard to spread the paint or maybe to blend the colors but it went surpri surprisingly well like it went pretty smooth like the paint acted normally in fact, it looks super good and vibrant on this paper because one thing that I noticed with the hot press, it does dry down a bit more matter, I think, at least for me. When I when I put my Sakura coils on the mat, uh, on the rather uh, hot press of physical paper, it's also 300 GSM, It it's a little bit more matter when it dries. But with the hot press, or with the cold press rather, it's super vibrant and like, it's like wow, it, it looks super good. So I don't know if I'm gonna buy some because it turned out really nice. Like I could get such fine and sharp lines for lining the edges of the drawing. And I'm also, I'm just like using two brushes for this and it's not even really fine brushes. So to get that kind of line with that kind of brush says something about the paper I think and I didn't change anything except the paper it's still Sakura Koi I'm painting the same way I'm using the same brushes I'm using dirty water so it's good it's good paper Fabrianos are expensive but are they worth your money man I'm just adding a little bit of gold paint here with stars just to make it a little bit more fun. I feel like I could have done a little bit better on the background. Like I could add a little bit more of a dark pageant, I guess, in the background. But it's fine. I, I still do like how it turned out. I, was, I didn't want to make it look too dark anyway. But either way, we are jumping to the preview soon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little cultural exchange. But if you're Filipino, I hope you enjoyed your holidays. I hope you got some time to rest. 
or to meet up with some family members and remember some loved people who are no longer with us. That being said, consider liking or subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of watercolor, anime, fan art type of stuff. Also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt, and I'll see you around.